What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing well. Now in this video I'm going to take a look at the UJK Universal Dovetail Jig. Now I've never used one of these before. Um, it's my first time seeing it. I'm literally just taking this out of the box. So I said I'll just share that experience with you guys. I'll take it out of the box, show you what comes with it, show you how I have to adapt it for my router and uh, I'm going to do a couple of test cuts and a couple of test joints just to see for myself because I've never used one of these before. So I'm quite excited to try it out now full disclosure this particular jig was sent to me by the guys at the carpentry store so i didn't pay for this with my own money it was sent to me so i have to tell you guys that up front and just be 100 percent transparent but like i said i've never ever used one before so i'm looking forward to taking it out of the box trying it out and uh, doing a couple of test joints because of a few projects coming up where this could be very very handy indeed now i won't demonstrate everything this does because that video would be like two hours long but i'll give you a quick overview of what it's capable of i want to do a couple of half blind dovetails with it and uh, yes yeah, so let's just get it out of the box let's see what comes with it and let's test it out okay so like i said i'm literally just unpacking this when i decided to make this video so a few parts out of the box already a few little bits and pieces which i'll give you a close-up of in a minute i have the instructions here in front of me which i'm trying to familiarize myself with i've watched the video Video that Axminster did on this UJK jig. They have a very uh, in-depth one if you guys want to check that out. It's like an hour and a half long of how this actually works. So I watched that so I have some idea but I've never actually used one before. So let's just get it out of the box. Have the main part of the jig here. It comes with a nice uh, vacuum attachment of her dust collection which is magnetic which is nice. This is the main jig. Quite a solid piece I have to say. So it's a big lump. Okay we leave that sit there for now. Uh, we have the combs, so there's two sets of combs with this. One is a double-sided one, I believe. This is for your uh, true dovetails and box joint, if I'm not much mistaken. And then this one is for your half blinds. This is the one we're going to test out in this video. So we also have a support rail here for the router to run on. And they're all very nicely made, I have to say. They have a lovely kind of anodizing on it. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll get you in for a close-up now in a minute, but uh, yeah, pretty good so far. So, that's all the bits and bobs that it comes with. I'll get you a close-up of this now and you can see exactly what it's like. Okay, so here's the main body of the jig here. It's a pretty solid lump, fairly heavy, so it seems to be pretty well made. You have um, kind of flanges either side with screw holes in. You could actually make a board for this to sit on that you can clamp to your bench or you can screw it directly to the bench. So it's designed to sit over the edge of the bench just like that. Pretty solidly made. There's a the top clamp, there's the front clamp, places to put on the brackets, which we'll assemble now in a second. So yeah, that's a nice, fine, solid lump. I go through some of the rest of the stuff there now. All right, so here's two of the combs that it comes with. They're marked A and B. This one is for the half blind dovetails. It's also for grooves and sliding dovetails. They can all be done with this section. And uh, this is what you use to do your half blind dovetails. This is comb A. Um, again, this is for box joints and for your true dovetails. And uh, yeah, so everything is nicely marked on it. We'll go through all that now when we're actually setting up to do one of our joints and like I say this is the rest or support for your router to run on so very nice let's look at what else we have okay so let's take a look at what we get in this box so nice allen key this is for assembling our jig or taking on and off our combs that's a pretty good quality one so that's pretty nice um, we have the two bushes here so these are the two guide bushes uh, one's a 5 8 I believe and one's a 3 quarter or 15.9 millimeter and 19 mil if I'm not much mistaken they are in imperial so it is 3 quarter and 5 8 uh, we'll do more about them now in a minute when we're doing our actual uh, joints so they give you every cutter that you need to do all the joints that this is capable of doing come with the actual kit so you can see they have the axe caliber here so we have a dovetail one we have a straight cutter there's actually another straight cutter here i believe this is a straight cutter too i'll have to look more closely at that now in a second but there are the three bits that come with it for doing all your joints which is nice this looks like a collet adapter so yeah there we go there are the brackets for mounting on the combs so we'll look at them now in a second and this is just a quick measuring tool i believe for doing your grooves so when you're setting up um to your groove that sits against that and this is your center line of your groove, I believe. So it's a quick tool for just quickly setting up. No measuring required to set up where your groove needs to go. I believe that's how that works. So that's what comes in that little box. 
Finally, then we have the vacuum attachment here. So you can see there's two magnets on this. So this just clicks straight onto the jig and obviously to pull away any dust created by the router. So pretty handy indeed. And we have a full set of instructions, full color instructions. They're actually pretty in-depth. All the parts are labeled. They are a pretty uh, good set of instructions, I have to say. So happy with that. I will have to familiarize myself with how all this works. But uh, yeah, all parts are labeled and everything is there. So that's pretty handy indeed. Now, the last thing, this is what you're gonna have to get. This will be different for everybody, depending on what router you get. This is a lay, uh, adapts for lay guide bushes. So this is the adapter you need to fit your router. So the guide bushes sit into this. Now you'll get these specific for every model router out there. But unfortunately for the Triton router, um, I couldn't get it. I've had this problem before with that Triton router. I can't get bushes or parts for it, um, but it will fit everything like Bosch and Trend and all the other makes and manufacturers. They have these to go on. So you just get one that's unique to your router. That's the only extra thing you need for the kit. But what I had to get to make this work was the UJK uh, adapter plate so this will fit onto the Triton router and then this um, guide bush or the adapter bush will fit in there and then I can put the guide bushes that come with it into this so I need to put this onto my Triton router then this onto this and then the guide bushes will fit in there however if you have like a trend or like I said or a Bosch or a Fest tool or any of the other ones you will just be able to get one of these to fit your router and away you go Okay, so let's get assembling this. Now it's pretty quick to assemble and the Allen key fits every Allen bolt that you need to adjust on this. So you have stops, both left and right. So you can adjust these in and out to put your material against. You can do it on both sides. You can actually set up two cuts and do them at the same time if you want to. And uh, the Allen key fits that. So like I said, these just move in and out and they have an offset then for the top, which I'll talk about now in a minute. But uh, we need to get the brackets on. That's the first thing. So we have some thumb screws here. And we have also some screws in the back and that's so we can move these in and out and adjust the depth and the height of them as well. So let's just get them in place for now. And then we can do that when we set up for our correct thickness of material. So nice and simple, they just go on there like that. We won't tighten everything down just for now. And then we're gonna use the uh, B um, set of combs. So the one's marked B and then we're just gonna line everything up. So the holes all should line up, they do, perfectly there and there, there we go. And then it comes with that little bag of screws. So again, it's the one Allen key for everything. Okay, happy days. So then it's just a case of put on our support for the router to run on, which is nice. Again, it's just the same two screws. Okay, that's pretty much it for setting it up. It's just bolt on the supports and the combs and we're good to go. Now I'm gonna clamp this to my bench before I go any further. Uh, just temporarily that's the setup I'm gonna use because I don't want this falling on the floor. Okay, so now that our jig is more or less set up ready to go, I need to adapt my router to work with it. Now, I love these Triton routers. You've seen me use this in multiple videos. They're great routers. However, they have a problem. You can't get guide bushes to fit them. Triton do a pack of guide bushes for them, but they're all in Imperial, so you can't actually get metric guide bushes to fit these, and it's a real issue. In fact, one of the first videos I ever made on my channel was about this router, and the fact that the Trend Unibase fits this router. So that's what I had been using up until this point. That's the Trend Unibase. And it just so happens that the guide bush adapter that the guy sent me down from the carpentry store fits the Trend Unibase as well. So that's handy. If you have one of these, you won't need to get one of these. Now, one thing I should point out, this is the UJK one. So again, the guys at the carpentry store sent me down this very kind of them to do so to fit this. Um, this is a really nice one. It's anodized aluminum or aluminum and it has a kind of a plastic uh, frictionless coating on it. You can see it there for sliding around. So yeah, really nicely made, but there is one issue. This one doesn't come with any screws. So if the screw holes don't line up with the original Triton screw holes, I'm in trouble because another uh, thing about this Triton router is the four screws that fix on the base are different sizes to the rest of the screw holes that are in here. So they're a different size. I think these are like a 
six mil and these are like a 6.5 or a seven mil or something. But the Trend Unibase does come with all the screws for all the different type routers, all different sizes. So they actually give you a screw kit with it. Doesn't come with the UJK. So I'm going to try and use the UJK one because like I said, the guys sent me down this. So you can see, that's a very nice indeed. But if the holes do not line up, um, I'm gonna have to use the screws that came with the trend base. So uh, yeah, we shall see. Only two holes line up on the trend base, so I gotta find, can I f line these ones up now as well? Hmm. This is gonna take me a few minutes. If I so solve this puzzle, I will get back to you. Okay, so I have the UJK Universal Adapter plate now on my Triton router. Now the nice thing about this is that all four of the original Triton screws actually line up with the base. If they don't with the Trend base, I had to get two kind of odd matching ones up. But the nice thing about the Trend base, it comes with the centering bush. Centering bush fits the UK, UJK as well. So that's a nice, simple principle. I'll just pull it off and show you guys how it works. So it's literally just a plastic little guide bush you have just a quarter inch plastic bit that goes into the collet and it just centers it up on this bush. I'll just get it off in a second. There we go. So that's the bit that goes in to the uh, actual chuck on your router. That sits in over on top of it and it just ensures that your guide plate is centered. Like I said, it comes with the trend. It doesn't come with the UJK, but it fits the UJK one. But the UJK one, in turn, all four screws from the original Triton base fit this. So, you know, take your pick. I'll leave it up to you guys which one you want to get. But uh, yeah, that's on there now. So we can put our lay adapter guide bush on this and then we can put our guide bushes for our jig onto that. Okay, so I have the dovetail bit now in the router. We need to set up our guide bushes. So here's the lay guide bush adapter. So this is the 710. I'll get the camera to focus on that. There you go, that's the lay 710. So happy days. Now we're gonna be using the 5 8 guide bush. That just drops in there like that, fits in perfectly. And then we have just a, a nut on the back to put on. Just tr tighten that guy on. Happy days indeed. Now. Drop this down, drop that into our plate, two screws in there, and we are set up, ready to go. Okay, so there's our guide bush in, our bit is in, so we're all set up, ready to go. Okay, let's do a little test joint. Now I have two off cuts of red oak, just two little pieces set in there, just to go do a quick test. We're gonna set up this jig. So the first thing I wanna do is actually center this between the combs. So I just wanna make sure that I have equal distance this side as this side, and I'm just gonna eyeball that till it looks right. And I'm pretty happy with that about there. So I'm just gonna lock that in with the handle, just like that. Now, I need to move my little uh, stop block here out to hit the edge of that, just like that, lock that in place. Now I can push my top one against it, and that gives me the perfect offset so that when I cut through this, both of these pieces will fit exactly together. It'll all make sense now in a minute if it doesn't. So that stop is set, the offset is set, that's happy days. Now, there's little lines on the front of the combs here. Those lines need to be dead center between the two pieces. So exactly at the back of this piece. So I need to move the combs out now to get them lined up. So let's just do that. We want to keep that even. So again, we're just going to eyeball that. That looks pretty good there. Bring that front one out a bit more. I think that looks pretty good there. So we're going to run with that. Make sure my piece is square against the bottom. It seems to be. So that's that pretty much set up now. Okay, so the jig is just about set up and ready to go. Now, 
You need to keep this perfectly flat. It needs to be referenced off the top of the, this piece here. This needs to be pushed up against these teeth so that everything is kept nicely in line. Now I did find putting a piece the same thickness as this one over this side ensures that this is not tilted, that it's perfectly flat all the way across. Obviously the larger the piece you have in here, the easier it will be. Or you can actually set up to do two cuts at once. So you can set up one side of your box here, the other side of your box here on this side because you have stops as well on this side and you can uh, do one cut, do two cuts and uh, happy days or you can do multiple pieces of the same thickness at the same time that's not an issue like I said it's, it's set up to work on both sides but definitely having a piece under both sides if you're doing narrow uh, little box pieces like this is the way to go so that's that set now we need to set the depth of our um, cutter what de how de deep it needs to go and there's a handy little mark on the side of this for doing that so let's do that now it's just a case of pop this guy back out so open that up and I can set him off this so over this side of the comb we have a nice handy little reference line here so it says cut or set line it mightn't be coming out on camera so all I gotta do is take this piece and just put a line like that right there now there's the depth that my um, router bit needs to be set to so nice and handy so just underneath the jig then you can see you can just drop your cutter down exactly to that line now you're set to the exact depth that you need to be so that's a very very good quick reference no measuring required so nice and handy so we're almost ready to make the cut let's get set up we'll get the dust extraction set up and we'll make this cut and uh, yeah let's see how our first attempt goes okay so we're just about ready to make the cut i'm just going to attach the vacuum attachments that's just a magnet clips on right like that very handy indeed now let's get my vacuum attachment on there happy days now my new trick quick connector couple won't quite reach down from the jig but uh, i had some extra leads made up that i can reattach to my quick connector so that's not an issue we can plug that in separately and uh, yeah okay we're all ready to go let's do it Okay, so ready to go make the cut. Now the very first thing to tell you to do when you're doing these half blinds is to do a scribing cut first. So I have to do a scribe cut just across the front of this piece, the outer piece, the one that I put the mark on. So just a little relief cut so that no material gets blown out. And um, you just establish a little shoulder line. I'll do the scribing cut and I'll show you. So let's get on and do that now. So uh, dust extraction, uh, ear protection and eye protection. And let's get on it. Okay, so my light scribing cut was a little bit more than light. I took a lot of material off. Uh, that's just my fault. I'm not quite used to using this yet. So you're supposed to just take a small cut across the front just to establish a little shoulder line. Not a big deal. I have a nice clean cut across the front. So no harm, no foul, as they say. So let's just get on and cut the joint now. <laughs> Okay, so there's what we are left with. That's exactly what it looks like. So you can see how the guide bush runs on this, cuts this out. So you're actually cutting both sides of the joint at once. So uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Now the proof is in the pudding. Let's open this up and uh, see how well we have done for our first attempt. Pull that guy out. Let me pop this guy out. And let's see how easy these two go together. So here we go. Might need a little tap or a little bit of persuasion. So there we go. That's my very first attempt. Let's get the camera to focus on that. So I'm a little bit off on both sides. Obviously I have my jig quite set right. So uh, let's have a second attempt at that. But they are really, really tight, I have to say. For half blinds, they are nicely in there. Sorry, get that on camera. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. So this time I've just marked exactly the center of the board and I've lined that up exactly with this comb finger here. So uh, I'm exactly equidistant left and right. So that should get me more accurate. Again, it's my first time ever using one of these, so I needed to play around with it. But uh, yeah, let's do a test cut again and see how we get on.
Okay, so there's the results of our cut this time around. Now, one thing I have to remember is that this is actually the inside of the box. If you're going to join this, it's actually the two inside faces that are facing out. So it's essentially you're doing this to cut them. And when you assemble them, they will be like this. So that's just something I have to bear in mind when I'm using this jig, is that the box is being cut like that, if that makes sense. And when it's assembled, it goes together like that. So let's see how we get on this time. Okay guys, there we go. Much better that time around. Really nice fit and the two sides of the boxes are perfectly in line. So again, it's just my eyeballing of the first centering of the piece wasn't great, but I took my time and actually measured it better that time. And the edges of the box are now perfectly in line. And you can see that they are very tight joints indeed. So happy days for the half blinds. Okay guys, so there we go. Just a quick unboxing video for you really. Just wanted to share that with you in a quick demonstration. It was more for me uh, using it than anything else. I just wanted to quickly see how easy it was to use and then just share that in a video with you guys. Yeah, so very, very quick and easy to set up. I'm pretty impressed with the, the jig, I have to say. The build quality is absolutely excellent. Now I'm not being paid to say anything. I'm under no obligation to say anything whatsoever. I can be as 100% honest and I usually am in my videos, but it was sent to me by the guys at the Capri Source, so they stock all the UJK stuff. So if you're in Ireland, um, Capri Source, the place to go to get this. If you're in the UK or anywhere else, uh, Axminster in the UK is where you'll get this stuff. But uh, yeah, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. Now when it comes to the UJK base, again, beautifully made, but it doesn't come with the kit for fixing it to your router. So there's actually a UJK fixing kit for routers, I can see it here on this. That comes with the trend. The trend also comes with the centering guide bush. However, only two screws will line up with the Triton, Triton router. All four screws line up with the UJK base. So there is that pros and cons, but uh, yeah. Um, I'd be leaning more towards the trend than the UJK in this instance, unless the UJK comes with the fixing kit in future. Um, you guys can look into it. Uh, the Camry Source sell both of them, so uh, you guys can make up your own mind on that one. I'm not gonna tell you which one to go for. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna have to build a little box now to keep all these parts in because it does come with loads of little parts that you could possibly lose. But again, they're all made in the UK, so they're all available. Um, you won't have problems getting replacement parts if you do lose a few. But uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that one guys. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, think about subscribing. You're gonna see me use this now in some upcoming videos. I wanna make some box. Um, it's coming up to Christmas time at the time I've made this video. So I wanna make some little gift boxes for people. So I'm gonna make them on this jig and uh, hand them out over Christmas. So that's it guys, I'm gonna get out of here now. I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.